playing some more Legacy of the Duelist with the Cyber Dragon deck. Um, I have been playing this game actually a lot, so I want to show you guys the new deck. I mean, it's the same deck actually, but we got new cards. We finished off the cores. Um, we got the three machine dupes. I had a DNA surgery because this deck's, or that card's super spicy. Um, I think that was actually it, but it took a while. So look at this now. In the card shop, we only need one more card for Cyrus Truesdale. I definitely want to get, like, every card in this game. I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, so let's, I kind of want to do this story mode deck because I think it's fun. And this one we get to play as Kaiba. The next duel was May versus the real Merrick. Merrick gave everything. Oh, well, May gave everything she had. But Merrick was much too powerful. He's a pretty cool guy. I mean, other than he's really scary, um, like, uh, mean. With the power of his Millennium Rod, Merrick trapped May's mind in this shadow realm. Your friend made a costly mistake by dueling against me. And now I'm afraid she's paying the ultimate price. Notice her emotion motionless appearance that's because her mind is trapped with each passing second she forgets more the shadows are taking everything everything she kept inside her mind and inside her heart trapped by magic the maze friend could do nothing to help her all right you geeks yeah here we go guy but coming in i love those like belts around the arm i don't know why they make this whole attire sick uh clear the field for the next duel the next duel was Seto Kaiba versus Ishizu Ishtar, the same Ishiz Ishizu who Yuki and Teya met at the museum. She was the mysterious eighth finalist. This is quite a surprise. I love this character. She's one of my favorite characters, actually. Yes, we meet again. I thought that was her name, but she just, like, kind of strange because she, like, like, it only show, I feel like she wasn't, like, that big of a character, but, like, when she showed up, it was, like, always story-related because they were, like, Millennium Pieces, but, yeah. So you've come to win back Obelisk. What I've come for is of greater importance. I've come here to save my brother. Brother. That isn't Seto trying to save his brother, too. For the past, or I think he did. For the past 5,000 years, as Ishtar has stood guard over the Pharaoh's tomb, only Merrick turned against us, and the evil within him is even stronger now. Wait, I didn't know they were brother and sister. I, I like, watched the show, too, which went over my head. If you remember, my Millennium Necklace is the power to show me events that are yet to come, and right now, it is telling me you will lose. Just do the duel. Wait, if, if it's saying that, why am I dueling here? It's going to beat me. Enough with the Millennium. I don't, I don't believe in the nonsense. I planned this with one goal in mind, to reclaim my place as the number one duelist in the world. Have you forgotten that it was my idea for you to organize the Battle City Tournament to lure duelists like Merrick? And my plan worked, for my brother is here, but the hardest task is yet to come. The evil with him must be stopped. I'm surrounded by superstitious nitwits. Take your hocus pocus nonsense to someone else's tournament. I feel like I'm reading like a novel. <laughs> My Millennium Necklace predicts your lack of faith will be your downfall. Let's do the story deck. Hopefully Kaiba's deck's got some good stuff in it. Alright, let's choose paper. Okay, we go second. Hopefully we get the blue eyes turn one. That'd be great. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. We start with Ix... Or Obelis, not Exodia. How do you summon this thing? Three tributes summoned, uh, card effect, uh, neither player can target, neither player can target this card, the card effects on the turn, if this card special summons into creating two monsters, trauma. Cool. That's actually not that good of a card anymore when you think about it. You can discard this card out of the two from your hand to your deck. Interesting. Oh yeah, that's a good card. Gonna be destroyed by battle with a monster, discard something greater, turn. Um, I guess, man, this card's powerful. Kaiba's got a pretty powerful deck, not gonna lie. We could just play... Oh, that, never mind, we can. Has to be a normal monster, it's just for, like, blue eyes. Uh, select to your... 
just select two cards your opponent's graveyard. Yeah, we don't have any. Past the third. Very monster. Oh no. Ah, boop. Uh, we need a good draw here. Let's see what we get. Bottom grade, that's always a good draw. It's actually OP. Best card in the game. Monster Reborn. Oh, wait, we get the blue eyes. Let's go. Alright. Now let's use this super awesome card. Special summon blue eyes white dragon in attack mode. And look at that animation. Rawr. Super cool. Uh, we, we can normal summon this. Yeah, I think we should just do oh, actually we, we can play Hopless this turn actually. Monster Reborn, something that's not, though. Let's just attack this. Let's, um... Kinda wanna play Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. That way. It better have, like, an animation. I'm so sad that... Um... Cyber End Dragon didn't have an animation when you play it. That's super sad. Alright. Swords for Feeling Light. No, don't do that. Soul exchange, target a monster, everybody controls. This turn, if you tribute a monster, you must tribute that target if you cannot. Can we do that? Uh, I don't want to. No, let's. Let's, I guess, just pass. If we did do that, we could. No, I can't attack anyway, though, so. Oh, man. Special summon it, but it cannot attack. Um, I mean, I feel like at this rate we should just play Obelisk, so let's do it next turn. Next turn's looking spicy. Wait, two, four, six. Are we allowed to have six cards in our hand? If not, let's just set one just in case. Or send it out Obelisk. Oh no, just tributing cards. What does that do? This infernal target one card to graveyard shuffle it into your deck. So here's what we'll do. We will normal summon. Alright. Wait, do we have yeah we have activate this? Monster, you must tribute that target if you if as you cannot conduct your battle phase. Okay, we can't conduct the battle phase anyway, so let's get it. Now wait a minute. Why can't I Oh no, I'm so dumb.
monster at the same attack. The character destroys that character. What monster will return to? Let's do this. Let's monster report. Wait, where's that really good monster that person had? Maybe we didn't kill it yet. I'm dumb. Let's, yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter what we're doing. Let's just get back to this. Then we're going to attribute it to this guy. This is our normal summon. Yeah, get that good card out there. Now let's attack. That's kind of a good card, actually. I mean, not amazing, but like, it's pretty good. Alright. Oh, I should have read that effect. <laughs> this is why I'm, I'm training. I'm, I'm still a Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm still a Yu-Gi-Oh! player in training, so... Don't mind me. Wait, 3,000. Oh, we can do that easy money. Yeah, we can do it again. Uh, no, we just literally tribute it. It's, it's a great power play. That card's actually like pretty OP, to be honest. Oh, do we have lethal? Wait, oh. Oh, I can't do battle phase. I think we should still summon Obelisk, even if it requires one more turn. I feel like some people watching this game are like, yo, how are you? It's bad at this game, bro. No, we can't do. Can't summon Obelisk. Uh, do we have lethal though? Yeah. No, oh, well. I'm not gonna wait around. We can always summon Obelisk again. We definitely gotta summon Slather, the Sky Dragon. Super cool. I'm just gonna bypass this. I feel like good so long. Let's see how much money do we get. 1500. Oh, Yuki versus Kaiba. Let's do this. Let's use the story deck, even though I feel like Kaiba's deck is far superior. Yummy. Got cherry tea. Super tasty. Let's go first. You know, Zane's my boy, but Zero Kaiba's real close. Oh my gosh, we got Slifer. We have to summon it. Scarven spell card and Iron spell card put us. Uh, I mean, we got we got stuff to do. Let's put this in attack mode. Discard one spell card, then target one spell card in your opponent's graveyard, place a target in the appropriate zone on your side of the field, and this card is also valid. Okay. Pass. We, we have to play Slifer. What does this do? Oh, great. He's gonna send out blue eyes already. Nope. Close one. Wait a minute. Oh, this is great. Just play that. Um, I don't really care for polymerization right now. We're gonna play this card. And then let's summon. I guess we have to do Dark Magician, right? I mean, this hand's pretty good, but. Um, maybe I should have waited on that play, but. Oh, he's got the XYC stuff. Ooh. He's dirty, bro. Sorry, I feel like I'm breathing too much in the mic. It's a little higher than I usually have it. Oh, I love this card. Banish a random card and return to us. Oh, that, that's dumb. I wish I just completely banished it. Let's keep that. We still can't play. Once per turn, you can. I think. Wait a minute. Cards three tributes to Robo Summon. So it doesn't matter if it's a higher card, right? Let's just attack. It's probably another. Another one. Wow, okay. Let's pretend. Okay. We're getting this slifer out. Let's use this card now. This card looks super fun. Pew. Light Force Sword. Give me a good one. Oh, we don't see it. Okay. Wait, that's dumb. I should have waited for the end of the standby phase. Oh, I'm so dumb. Brain control. Cool. Um.
Also, we can summon Slay for next turn if he plays a monster and face is not gonna. Come on, give us something good, please. Come on. Ah, oh, one of my favorite cards. Let's do this. Oh, it's so OP. We're getting Slay for. That's, um, uh, yep, now we play this, summon one of these bad boys, and then, Slifer, there better be a cool animation, oh, here we go, let's go, come on, Slifer, the Sky Dragon, one of the coolest cards in the game, I still, I need to own one. No animation. What? What are these effects again? Um, once returned to the end phase, it's a great special summon. Since the graveyard gains a thousand times each card in your hand of a monster, so under most of the field that loses two dozen attack. Yeah, it's a super cool card, man. Attack. I wish there was some animation. Um, wonderful summon cards and effects can't be activated once per. So, I mean, you can still target it, though, so it's not, like, that good of a card, right? And we obviously want a lot of cards in our hand. Ah, Queen's Knight, this card's really kawaii. I think we have to summon this, though, just to, uh... I, I, I love this card, man. Like, having a hand full of, like, cards, and then it boosts the attack of, like, another card. That's just super cool, I don't know. But didn't play the best game yet. Oh, okay. Protecting your life points, I see. Like brain control. Oh, another Queen's Knight. Um, what does this say again? The monster loses. If a monster from some restriction to the field, then attack position. Oh, it has to be attack position. Um, I mean, realistically, I think we could just end it here, right? Let's grab this boy. him off Slifer. I, I gotta go shopping for another one of those cards. Or a card, I meant. I don't even have one yet. Um, alright, let's... Wait, I wanna do that. Let's use a Cyber Dragon deck now. Oh, this is Merrick. Let's use my Cyber Dragon deck. I've been practicing still. Pretty newbie, but... Yeah, we have to get Galaxy Soldier and, like, Naxter and stuff. Um, so after, you know, hopefully when we open up some more packs, we get it. We'll do that, uh, after this duel. After this duel. Uh, pretty at hand, right? We got supper emerges now, yeah, because we can do a lot of stuff. Once per turn, if, like, 600 damage to your opponent, okay. So we got dry, so... Let's, oh. Great, yeah, we, I mean, we could play core, but I kind of want to summon, um, what's his face? I want to summon our boy. Let's use Dry's effect. Let's special summon Nova, and then we'll go into Infinity. Oh, so I love Infinity, so cool. One of the coolest cards in the game, bro. I just feel it'd be super cool if, like, Infinity had an animation, too, but... Uh, so now let's play Negate Attack. Or, yep, and then Cyber Emergency to grab. Maybe we don't have to do this right now, but I think we're gonna want a core anyway. Chain of... No. Oh, wait a minute. I'm dumb. I forgot. Um, I gotta read this effect again. You can target one face up attack position monster on the field yet, so I can literally target this, right? Like, that's insane. What other effect can I chain? Why would I do that? I don't want to do that. Like, that's OP. 
tree that's just broken. Now we attack steal the monster. What does this do? Yeah, then we can just detach. I want to detach Cyber Dragon though, because then we can special summon it or something with Cyber Repair. Actually, now the Cyber Repair is in there, we can grab another monster, but we don't, let's, let's not worry about that right now. Oh, the bait doll. What does that do? Once per turn, I don't. Uh, negates effect. Um, yeah, I, I don't really care about that. Sure. Sure. Alright. So we, we got some plays and stuff, but, uh, realistically, do we have to, like, do anything? Let's just grab one from our deck. Let's grab. Let's grab Veer. I, I think the Veer, or Fire or Veer is a pretty good card, to be honest, because Watch, we're going to play Cyber Dragon, right? We're going to get the effect. Then we're going to chain it. Then we're going to get another Cyber Dragon on the field. No. I'm going to put it over here. Let's get over the fusion we could. I mean, now that'd be overkill. Let's just grab this in case something dies. I don't know. And can we, what can we do? Oh, we could make Seeker. Might as well just do that, right? Bring her home. The Seeker's a pretty cool card, too, to be honest. He's like a little ace. He reminds me of more like a barrier dragon, you know? Then I can summon something else, right? Uh, but let's just attack. I feel like this turn's already taking too long. I don't need to do that. Attack. This game's over, bro. He's got two cards in this game's easy. And even play Cybernetic Overflow. I love the art on this card. Alright. Looks like this is game over. Yeah, let's just attack. Like, I, I, I like the, I, I want to build the control aspect of Cyber Dragon. I think it's super cool. But also for grinding out, like, battle points. Like, I feel like we should just uh, not worry about it, you know? Or, oh, whoops. We wanna, I want the speed. Let's open up some packs now. I mean, realistically, I'd want to open up this to get the last card, but we don't need to. This is supposedly the card, the guy that has Galaxy Soldier in it. So let's see what we can get. Whoa, look at this card. Metaphys Armed Dragon. Look at this one. Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Drain. These cards are so cool. When this card is special summoned, you can target one card in your Pentum Zone. Special summon it. Also, this card cannot attack for the rest of the turn. Only use one time, but yeah. Unusual visit, usually visible, despite its phantom existence. Oh. oh, we got mad cash we can spend. Let's see. Odd Eyes Dragon thinks it's a pretty cool card. They got that monkey. Things weird looking, bro. Dragon Horn Hunter. Tree Greed. Activate only when you destroy a face of single monster. Either. Oh, draw two cards. That actually sounds kind of good, but it sounds like a card to push you further ahead. Oh, look at that. Wow, that card's cool. Look at this. That's awesome. Uh, Cerulean Sacred Phoenix of Death Fifths. <laughs> Wait a minute. Look at that. Wait, that's the same. That's the same girl. The same magician. What is it doing? Let's see. Come on. Get Oh, look at that. All the same card. We got that, like, Elephant Splash Mammoth. Whatever that is. Come on, Galaxy Soldier. This card's insane. They have the cool looking Galaxy or Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. We'll do one more pack after this, and then I want to. Oh, that card's a cool, too, but I think we already had that. And we got, like, a Hippo. Um, I kind of want to open some of these packs. Actually, 
we, I do want to open up some dino packs because that's the next deck that I kind of want to build. What is that card? Target two dark wood monsters and create each player draws a card, then each player discards a card. I guess we'll open up one more. I kind of want to open up a jazz pack. Jazz with them dark arm dragons. Oh, nice. We got this. That'd be a good card to use. I remember this card. Wow. That's a throwback. Some. Open up a Grandpa Moto's deck. Let's open up a Kaiba pack. Whoa, Neutron Blast. That's a card. Oh, we got the blue eyes. Let's go. Look at this Neutron Blast. That is such a cool card. Target one Fusion Summon. The blue eyes ultimate dragon control this turn. You can make a second and a third attack through each step battle phase. Uh, also, when it attacks your opponent's cards, and oh, that's awesome! It can't be affected. Look at the artwork on that. Definitely hard to play that card, but that is a cool card to be honest. Let's see. Uh, or this card's pretty nostalgic. We have money for like one more, so we'll buy a uh, Thunder Dragon Titan. Uh, I've never seen a oh, great win. I've seen that one before. Let's open up a Grandpa Moto pack. Let's see it. Brain control. Big bird. You can only activate this card when your opponent's activates a card that targets a monster graveyard and remove. Yeah. Got a Gravekeeper card though. So. Yeah, I mean, we still I need the Galaxy Soldiers. I, I, I hopefully next. fun decks along the